Hello, we are going to talk about radiation protection um, as applied to medical imaging in an environment where we use x-rays and gamma rays for a lot of the imaging uh, procedures. The reason why radiation protection is so important because uh, generally we get a lot of question about radiation risks and so forth from public and, and uh, media because when you say radiation some of the things which conjures up in the mind is because we hear, we hear a lot about these uh, comic characters, fictional aspects wherein the effect of radiation is described uh, due to accidental exposure le leading to this incredible Hulk phenomena, fantastic four phenomena and so forth. But it is important to understand what are the sources of radiation in a particular imaging room. In any x-ray room there are three primary sources of radiation. We call it as a primary radiation which arises from the source and it is confined to the size of the image receptor. The second source is the scatter radiation which arises from the patient when x-rays pass through the patient, the patient actually scatter radiation in all direction and in fact this is one of the sources which we need to protect ourselves if we are inside an imaging room. The third source of x-rays or radiation is the leakage radiation. Even though the x-ray tubes and the source is well shielded, but there is still small amount of leakage coming out. Compared to scatter radiation, this leakage component is much lesser. So, in generally when we talk about radiation protection, uh, especially if we are inside the room such as interventional fluoroscopy um, or regular fluoroscopy procedure, we need to uh, adjust or understand the principle of radiation protection. When you say radiation protection, the three pillars of radiation protection are time, distance and shielding. These three pillars actually provides the realm of understanding for the radiation protection. When you say time, the time it takes for exposure um, it also results in the radiation dose to the patient plus it also can yield a lot of scatter radiation coming out of the patient. Therefore, if you minimize the time of exposure that will also yield lower patient dose and also uh, yield lower scatter radiation. The second pillar of radiation protection is distance. Distance works to our advantage in any particular x-ray room or any in front of any x-ray source because the further away you stand from the x-ray source less scatter one gets therefore, the distance works to our advantage. The, the, the scatter radiation especially coming out is in all direction therefore, we need to understand the distribution of scatter radiation in order to protect ourselves in a medical x-ray room. The third pillar of protection is shielding. When you talk about shielding, there are personal shielding such as wearing an apron. Apron covers 75 percent of the body. Therefore, if you are working around the radiation environment, these aprons provides um, a major protection to the person. Also in addition to aprons, there are other objects inside the room such as shields a ceiling mounted shields and so forth which can provide addition protection. Generally when you talk about radiation protection, time, distance and shieldings are important things to remember. Finally, one does not have to fear the radiation as long as we understand the principle of radiation and the radiation principle or protection principle. Thank you.